Hi guys and welcome to the Android Tutorial YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about autofill, which is a, a feature that was released in Android 8.0 Oreo. And basically it has to do with a password manager. So if you use your passwords inside a password manager, you'll be all set. First of all, a uh, thing you got to do, the app has to be enabled for uh, autofill so and the also the password manager so saving cloud which is the application uh, the password manager i use is all set for that uh, second of all the application has to be work for saving cloud so as you could see here it says unlock in saving cloud that means that the application and i have several ones for twitter so if i click here and authenticate with my fingerprint then you can see here the options that i have i'm gonna log in here and that's it. I don't have to place in any passwords. I don't have to be copying or pasting. I don't have to do anything. I just authenticate with a registered saving cloud uh, autofill um, application. And that would be basically it. And we're going to see it in, an, in another application. So first of all, the other one that I want to show you guys is Stringify. So if I come here, I'm able to click on Stringify. And since I just have one account for this one, I just click in. That would be it. So basically, how would you enable this? First of all, we got to go to configuration and then all the way down to where it says system and then where it says languages and input and then go to advanced and go where it says autofill service. So you'll have here the services that you want and you will be able to add more. Uh, this will take you to the ones that we have enabled. Obviously, uh, um, saving cloud is not here as be it's being used, but LastPass, dash, uh, dash lane free, Keeper password manager and one password are available. And I just have this enabled. So that would be basically it. It's very much easy to have your password manager do everything for you. You don't have to be remembering your passwords. You don't have to be thinking about your usernames and uh, for all of your services. So this has been a really quick tutorial on how to use Save in Cloud. Um, I think that it's one of the best applications there are on the Play Store. And I really like it because it's a one-time payment uh, compared to the others. Uh, and the developer is very much active. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel as that helps us a lot. And we'll see each other in the next one. Bye.